what is up everybody blue dog 35 here uh this is a video about my button boxes so i make uh sim racing button boxes i have a few different designs but this is the most popular one this is for sim racing monster truck sim racing wow i am not here um so this is yeah this one's for monster trucks um specifically like uh, uh beam ng and rigs of rods and this is uh my best ability to recreate how they actually do it in the real trucks so um it's also a general purpose deal but we have this guy right here so you're supposed to interact with it like this you have it on your desk or um mounted to your rig or something and you use your right hand to manipulate the switch up here and uh this thing it's it's pretty robust it's not uh it's it's not a baby toy so this is uh, fully 3D printed, aside from the electronics inside. Um, and this uh, this video is going to be showing you how to set it up um, for Rigs of Rods first, and then Beam NG. The Rigs of Rods is very long, very convoluted, and it's, uh, in all honesty, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but eh, they, uh, the people who play it seem to like it, and who am I to judge? Um, so... Yeah, uh, this thing is really cool. I make them to order. I've got a bunch of... Uh, oh, yep, yeah, cool. I can really do... Uh, I'd be a horrible weather reporter. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff up there to make more. So if uh, if you would like one, if you would like one after watching this, let me know. And um, I will, uh, I'll work with you. We can figure something out. Hit me up on Instagram or... Um, uh, send me a DM on Twitter. I don't really use Twitter all that much, but I've been trying to be more active. I am most active on Instagram. Um, so if you're looking for something like this, uh, then please, by all means, uh, give me a shout, and we will uh, we will talk business. Um, what's really cool is that uh, Ryan Anderson bought one of these. Um, I'll put up a picture of the one that he bought. Um, he wanted blue for the faceplate, and uh, he got black for the uh, the base here. So. This one is mine. Um, where the hell did I? Ah, there we go. Wow. I'm. Uh, this is the standard one. So if you order one, unless you specify otherwise, this is how it'll show up. Um, I include the USB cable and uh, all that stuff. I also have this design, which is uh, really can be used for anything because you know it's just a bunch of buttons that you can, you know, macro to anything. And then I have a stock car box. Um, which is on my thing over there, which I'll uh, I'll add a picture of. Um, it's got one toggle, the button beneath, so it's like your ignition, your starter, and then a bunch of little navigation buttons for your black box or for whatever, for iRacing or for menus or what have you. You can really um, uh, set it up however you like. So let's go ahead and jump into um, Rigs of Rods, and we will... Yeah, set it up. <laughs> it took me a while, but it's because I don't know how to play. Uh, or I don't really play Rigs of Rods, so it's uh, it took me a while to figure it out. But I got there in the end, and I'm hoping that this video helps. So here we go. All right, so here we are at the desktop. Uh, first thing you're going to do is plug your button box in via USB. So you will hear your USB connection sound. Um, and then it will, over here, it'll uh, automatically install drivers, and when it's ready for use, it will say it's ready for use. It'll say generic USB joystick is installed and ready. Basically, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically uh, what it'll say. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you that we're going to run through this complete. Um, this is a fresh install of Rigs of Rocks. And uh, the only thing is I have the um, uh, monster trucks installed. So we're going to do this. We're going to load. And um, as you can see, the rear steer, I know you can't see my keyboard, but the rear steer is bound to F1 and F2, which is uh, classified as a command. Now, the rear steer button, anything else on here doesn't do anything. I can flip these switches all day, and it's not going to do anything. <clears throat> so, uh, we would like to fix that. 
unfortunately, due to the age of this game, um, it's still good, but it's it's old, and for some reason, the way to um, you know do things is incredibly convoluted, which I don't understand. But you know, you'd think somebody would make some sort of program uh, to to fix it, but eh, it's all good. Um, so what you do is you download the Rigs of Rods input mapping tool. Um, I will put a link in the description if you don't feel like going to look for it, but it is freely available um, on the repository. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and this is what we're going to get right here. So uh, we're going to click on joystick, and then we're going to click add. Um, now this is this is if your joystick, well, it, it's going to be plugged in because it's going to come up as joystick. Um, we would like to register a button. I know it's not technically a button, but we'd like to register a button. Just trust me on this one. Um, and then we're going to scroll down to commands 01. And then we're going to click add. So you're looking to map the command button, the command 1 button, which is F1, to left steer. So, boom, there it is. Now, you're going to do this again. Second verse, same as the first. Joystick button, scroll down. Only it's going to be commands two, because that's the F2 button, and that's right rear steer. So, you click add. Same thing. Boom. There you go. Now, let's say you want to um, uh, map the ignition to this toggle, or um, your starter button, or uh, diff lock, you know, whatever you're using this for. Reset. Um, uh, you know, four-wheel drive, engage, disengage, whatever. You know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you also do that here. Um, and it works the same way. You do, uh, you'll do add, and then you'll do joystick button, and then whatever command you're looking to do. So you want to change your camera. You know, here, let's do this as an example. You want to change the camera, but you want it to be button eight here. Boom, there you go. And it's button eight. I know it says button seven, but it's button eight. Um... So then we're going to click, uh, once you set up all your buttons the way you want to on your, uh, on your, your button box, you click uh, Export Key Map. And I'm just going to do all because I didn't change anything else, um, and we'll do that. So uh, we will, let's see, we're going to save this as button box, okay? Um, <clears throat> so we save this. Uh, Did it not? Oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, we save it as button box. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the actual... Um, I'm going to go to the actual configuration uh, file, which I have over here. Sorry. Um, oh, no. <clears throat> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the configuration file. We're going to go in. We're going to scroll down, commands. So we have command 1, keyboard F1, uh, command 2, keyboard F2, and joystick, and all that lovely stuff. So what we want to do is we would like to go and do all of our commands, and we're going to just going to right-click, and we're going to copy, okay? Then we're going to go into the commands for the game, which you can find in the uh, documents, my games, rigs of rods, and then config. You go to the input. Don't pay any attention to any of these. You go to the input here, right? And then you scroll down. You'll highlight. At least this is the way I got it to work. Highlight commands, right click, and paste it. So now your joystick buttons are there. Now you want to save it, and don't worry um, if you uh, want to revert to original uh, whatever. There is a uh, a default um, copy in the files for this that you download. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open Rigs of Rods, and we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do... Uh, Go here. Oh, I don't. I forget. I'm so used to beam. You press uh, the escape button for the menu. 
<clears throat> so, as you can see, same as before, F1 and F2 are rear steer. But now, with this, you have the same thing. So, F1 and F2 are now on this toggle. Well, it's not really a toggle. It's more a, you know, a two-position. But you let go, and it returns back to center just like a real monster truck. All right, so here we are on beam. You can see I've got my normal. Whoa, holy crap. Yeah, this thing is freaking guts and balls. Look at that. I don't understand why people still use rigs or rods. I mean, I know it's free, but holy hell, that's like so much better with this. Um, not only does it sound better, I know you can't really hear it because uh, I don't have the sound hooked up yet um, or in the game. Uh, but it's very, very, very simple to do this. As you can see, I don't have anything right here, but we will in a moment. So you press escape, you go to options, then you're going to go to controls and you're going to expand vehicle specific controls right here. So you have your uh, independent steer rear axis, leave that alone. Independent rear steering left, you're going to hit plus, and you're going to hit, boom, that. Uh, it's going to say that there's a conflict with the G function. That's okay. That's absolutely okay. Um, so you click apply. It'll take a second, and it'll pop up there. Do the same thing with right. Press the plus button. Boom, there you go. It's going to come up with the same thing. Say it's got an issue with the H function. That's fine. We don't have to worry about that. Um, so now you can go ahead and hit back and back, and now... You've got rear steering with your switch right here. I've got both hands right here. And so now I can... So you've got rear steering. You can do uh, crazy donuts, maybe. Eh. Yeah, it's not exactly donut material, but you know what I mean. So you've got your... Rear steering set to your switch. All right, so for some reason it's listed under engine starter motor, but uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So that is apply, and then um, what do they say? Reset. So that's going to be gameplay, I'm assuming. Uh, reset vehicle, right? So boom, there we go. Oh, nope, I didn't hit the plus button. So there's that, right? And then we hit apply, and then we're back. Yes, there we go. Okay, so uh, let me recenter the camera here, and we will turn the engine off. Boom, there it is, right? Starts up. Now let's say uh, let's say we wreck it. We are going to go full wreck it Ralph here, and we're going to do our best to destroy this thing. So boom, there it is, right? Oh no, I've crashed my truck. No, I didn't. Boom, right there. Oh, that's not reverse. So yeah, um, just a quick explanation on how to use the uh, the button box, and I really, really hope it helps. Uh, if you have any other questions, comments, um, or if you'd like one of these, let me know. Uh, send me a message or hit me up on uh, Instagram or uh, Twitter. Um, everything's there, and uh, yeah. I hope you like it.